scientific zoo and over the next few weeks we're going to be dropping in with her to visit her scientific wonderland to take part in all sorts of amazing and cool experiments. Let's see what she's up to now. Welcome to Scientific Sue's Wonderland! Yay! For today, Sue is going to be explaining all about chemical reactions. Mm, I think things might get a bit explosive in here. But what we've got, we've got this cabbage juice. And this cabbage is amazing. Inside this, there's the thing that gives it the, the purple colour. There's something called anthocyanin. Give me that word. Anthocyanin. And it changes colour depending on whether I've got an acid. And the opposite to the acid is called a base. Give me that word. A base. A base. So really strong, dangerous ones give us yellow. So if we find we get yellow at home, then we don't touch it. But if we get blue, it's okay. It's okay. Well, and in between blue and, and yellow, we sometimes get green. Uh, purple means it's neutral. It's not basic and it's not acidic. So yellow is no go, blue is okay, and purple is neutral. Water. Our cabbage juice is an indicator. Give me that word. Indicator. indicator. It changes colour and it indicates to me whether I've got an acid or a neutral. Or neutral or an alkaline. So whenever we get a chemical which is a solid, so this is bread soda, this, this is a solid, we call the solid a base. Whenever we put it into a liquid, can you stir that for me, please? We then get an alkali. The opposite to the base is an acid. And one of the acids we have at home... The vinegar! This is solid carbon dioxide. So we're going to use this bubbling mixture to see if we can do something amazing. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Um, what colour are we going to get? What colour? What colour are we going to get? Red. Red. So, is vinegar acid or alkaline? Alkaline. It's acid. Uh, what's your favourite colour? Purple. OK, let's see if we get purple and... Oh. Blue, yeah, my favourite colour. We get blue. So, acid or...? Neutral. Neutral is purple. It's alkaline, brilliant. Has anyone been stung by a bumblebee before? So when a bumblebee stings you, it squirts acid into your skin. And you can neutralize it using red soda. When a wasp stings you, it squirts alkaline liquid in. And what can we use to neutralize it? Vinegar, brilliant. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Pour it all in really fast, really fast, and ah! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, a fizzy carbon dioxide reaction. But if I know Sue, I'd say she's got something far more explosive up her sleeve. So, did you, when we mix the vinegar and, and the bread soda, did you see that fizz? Yes. Right. Do you know the name of the gas that fizzed? Uh, carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide. And carbon dioxide is the gas that we have inside all of our fizzy drinks. Inside this geezer tube, I've got some sweets. And the surface of these sweets is quite rough. They have, this is a really funny word, it's called a nucleation site. Give me that word. Nucleation, nucleation site. site. Nucleation site. As soon as they drop down, they're going to cause all of the carbon dioxide that's dissolved in here to leave, but not slowly, all at once. Three, two, one! Woo! Thanks, Sue. <laughs> Chemical reactions rock. Oh, that is so cool.